G'day YouTube, uh, Grog250 here. Um, I just wanted to uh, put out this video. As some of you may have seen, I posted a video a couple of weeks ago, a tribute to uh, a good friend of mine, Travis Sloboda, who uh, tragically passed away in a car accident last month. Uh, I was not expecting the um, type of reaction I got from the video, as in how many people would be viewing it, and uh, how many people would be affected and touched by it. Um, if I had known how far it was going to go, I'd put just a bit more effort into it, because I uh, kind of just whipped it up in a night. Um, like, I'm so honoured and touched that it's um, uh, affected so in a positive way. Uh, like I said, I didn't really expect it to uh, be viewed as many times as it has. Um, I've received contact from Travis's family, like his aunties, his uncle, uh, his mother and father, uh, thanking me for making the video. Uh, they said they all loved it. Um, I had made the video just as a tribute because I felt I had to do something, you know, because I got on pretty well with Travis, even though we never officially met in person. Uh, we used to Skype each other, uh, you know, um, he would be sometimes going to bed as I'm waking up or vice versa, or I'm at lunch at work and he's woke middle of the night because we're on the other side of the world, he's in, he was in New York and I'm here in Melbourne, Australia. So anyway, uh, back to the point, I didn't expect, like I said, for it to be, you know, affecting so many people, um, I just going all. Um, you know, that's what it's achieved. Like I said, you know, I kind of wish I'd have made it a bit better now. But, um, no, yeah, I just, I, I just see, like, how many messages I've received from people thanking me, like, you know, it's it's the least I could do. You know, he, he deserves a uh, fitting tribute, you know, just like anyone on this planet does. So, you know, he's a good friend and he... Yeah, he made people all the time, so. Yeah, speaking of which, um, Travis's uncle and auntie, uh, they had contacted me and said they found a uh, pair of his soap shoes at the house, and they asked if I wanted them to remember him by. I said, yeah, you know, I'll send them on over. Uh, when I build my collection, uh, the, my display for my collection, his will be the centerpiece of a uh, memorial for him, you know, just something to remember him by, so, uh, yesterday I got home from work, and, uh, there was a package from New York, uh, America, so I opened it up, and, uh, sure enough, it was his, uh, soap shoes that his, uh, uncle and auntie had sent me, um, yeah, I was, uh, stoked, uh, to read the note they included, um, bear with me, it was, um, yeah, it almost brought a tear to me, I, like, you know, just, again, because of the video I made, I just had no idea how much it would affect his family and stuff. I just wanted to do something nice for them and for Travis. So anyway, I just, I got this note with the shoes, and it reads, um, Greg, thank you so much for that beautiful tribute to my nephew Travis uh, that you put on YouTube. The song and the captions you wrote make me cry every time I watch it. Here are the soap shoes, size 12, that I found in my basement. The other seemed to use, so I gave you the new pair. Peace, my brother. Peter Sloboda. I must say, I was not expecting, you know, a note like this, and it really, really touched me. Uh, so what I'm going to do when I finally build the uh, display piece for Travis's shoes, I'm going to have the note in the frame, and uh, just a few other pieces, so when people... You know, see my collection when it's fully on display. You know, they get to read that, and I have the tribute video playing on, on like a little small screen too. Just you know, it's the least I can do. He, he's a great, you know, funny kid. So anyway, yeah, I received that, and it just, you know, to brighten my day up. You know, because it's a pretty shitty day at work. I mean, who doesn't? So yeah, you know, put a smile on my face to receive them. So um, the shoes I got from them that were Travis's so the uh. Soap Cylon Spectrums, actually, my favourite model soaps, you know, they're pretty cool, 
So uh, the brand new, never been worn, never will be. You know, I'm not even going to lace them properly. Just going to keep them factory fresh. And when I finally build the display pieces, you know, it's going it's to look pretty cool. With a, it's going to have a photo of Travis and all that. So, yeah, you know, I just like I said, you know, I still I still can't believe how many people the video. It's been up two weeks now, I think, and getting close to 600 views. Um, all positive comments and stuff. I, I linked it to solidgrind.com so that, uh, some of the other soapers could watch it as well and you know, they were all just as devastated as I was when they found out the news of his passing. And uh, like but the video done what I intended to do though I think, which is just to showcase Travis for who he was. Even though I I didn't know him for a long period of time, I I'm pretty sure I can you know, just who, uh, you know, what he was all about, you know, just a fun loving guy, do anything for his family and friends. So, uh, his family told me that they showcased the video at his wake, which I was so honoured by, like, you know, like I was, I, mean, I wasn't expecting it. Um, I just made it for him, for his family, you know, just to, you know, try and brighten everything up a little bit, you know, when it seems darkest the most, you know, we all need a little bit of sunshine. So um, I've been keeping contact with his family as much as I can, you know, just to see how they are, you know, because, you know, no one deserves to be alone at times like this, so, but yeah, no. but yeah, when I finally build my display, it's going to, I'll do a walk around video of all that. Um, if you wish to view the tribute video I made for Travis, it's in my other videos. I don't have many on my channel, so it won't be hard to find. Um, yeah, you know, like it, give it a like just to show your support for him, you know, for another fallen friend. To all you uh, soapers out there and soap shoe enthusiasts, I'm doing reviews of all the soap shoes at the moment too, if you want to check them out. And um, this is just a mock up at the moment. I'm just testing out. Yeah, you know, just. It's not official, sorry. It's it's a display piece I've just quickly whipped up the other day. Just to uh, get myself some ahead of how I want to display my shoes. So, um, just, you know, something like this to hang on a wall. You know, it's got the soap dark, the soap logo, the shoe. You know, it's going to have more details. Uh, Travis's one will. Have a lot more in it when I get it done. You know, I've got a few ideas. I just want to run by his family. You know, see if they they would like. He would have liked it. You know, but when I when I do eventually get my collection up and running in a display, like it's it's going to be pretty cool. And I think Travis would have loved it. You know, he's, he was a funny guy. He had me uh, only a, uh, a week or so before his uh, passing. He goes, dude, you've got an addiction. Like, you got to get help. Like, you're worse than I was with soaps. He goes, I just laughed at him and said, nah, come on, dude. You're just as much as I do. He's like, yeah, true. Um, a guy that I've been buying shoes from, or am buying shoes from, uh, Frankie, or Frank Hansen, I think his name is. Uh, he's got, like, a rare pair of shoes to the broadsides. Me and Travis were, like... <laughs> Always, you know, messaging each other. Oh, I'm gonna get him first. No, he, yeah, I'm gonna get him first. He's going. I'm like, oh, come on, dude, let me have him. You know, I want him. Uh, it, was, it was good fun talking to Travis like that, though. So, um, you know, anything I can do to honor his memory, I'm gonna do. You know, he's gonna live on with the uh, with myself and the Melbourne Soapers crew down here in Australia for life. Yeah, you know, we'll never forget. Uh, right after his passing, we uh, decided to go out for a session in his honour, and one of the new just joined us. It was his first time on shoes. He dislocated his finger. It was funny as. I just know if, if if Travis was still with us, he'd uh, he would have laughed his ass off just looking at the photo, and calling him a noob and stuff. You know, that's just the type of uh, guy Travis was. I guess he uh, found light of every situation, always looked on the bright side of everything. I think that's why I got along with him so well. You know, some of his chats with me were just, just downright hilarious. You know, some of the stuff he said. But, um, you know, as I'm saying again, you know, I know I've been a bit repetitive, but never really made a video like this before. <clears throat> the, um, 
the video I made, the tribute video, it's, it's in my other videos, check it out, if you want, if anyone who hasn't seen it, yeah, it's just, I'm, I'm still in shock myself, like, I, I begin to imagine how his family's feeling, you know, it's, it's just crazy, you know, one minute you're talking to someone, and the next, it's just like, you know, they're not there, like, you're expecting, you know, to get a message from them, like, tomorrow or something, or a, a Skype call coming through, you know, or a random post on your wall about a new movie coming up, or about <laughs> just something random. Uh, I'm gonna miss his, uh, miss his humor, that's for sure. Um... But it just shows the uh, type of person he was, that he's affected people from all over this planet. You know, you know just what he's achieved in his short time on this on this earth. He's, he's connected with so many people from all walks of life. I mean, that's truly the meaning of success, if you ask me. You know, establishing a relationship with people from all over, whoever they are, you know, culture are background and all that stuff, you know, you know, pe people are all concerned about money and all this crap through life, you know, that doesn't make you successful having money, successful is what you've achieved in your life, you know, who you've affected, what you've done, who you were, you know, when it's your time to go, you know, you look back on your life, you know, have you had a good life, you know, and I believe Travis, at the end, was truly, truly a happy man. He, he, he was just on top of the world. The last few messages I got from him, he was just, I'd, I'd never seen him so happy in the short time I knew him. You know, he, he, he figured it out. He worked well, out what life was all about, and he went for gold, and he got it. So with that, I can truly say, he went as a happy man. And I, I wish everyone could do that. You know, they just work out what it's about, you know. Don't worry about the little things. Bugger it. So, I'm going to miss you, Trav. Peace out, me brother. Shout out, it's done up there.